Hello everyone, this is Showtime112. Today we're doing a different video. We will be testing some theories about semi-active radar homing missiles such as AIM-7 Sparrow. The story begins about six months ago when I posted a video reenacting an Israeli F-15 shooting down a Syrian MiG-25 in 1981. My main source for this was uh, Shlomo Aloni's Israeli F-15 units in combat. The book describes uh, how the Israeli pilot Benny Zinker launched three Sparrow missiles at the MiG to increase the chances of a kill. A viewer then posted a comment saying that this was a waste of missiles because only one Sparrow could be guided at the time and um, the others would just go stupid. It seemed very unlikely to me that an Israeli F-15 pilot wouldn't know that, so I replied with the exact description from Maloney's book, and there was no further reply to this. Last week I, re I released another video, this time about four American F-15s shooting down uh, three Iraqi MiG-23s in Desert Storm. All four pilots launched multiple Sparrows, uh, number one and number four, because their initial missiles malfunctioned. But number two and number three, Tony Schiavi and Rico Rodriguez deliberately launched two sparrows each, which is supported by two different books and the recording of the radio communications which is available on YouTube. Schiavi is reported to very clearly state that he did so in order to increase the chances of a kill, and then he witnessed the first missile hitting the front of the MiG-23 and the second one going through the fireball. Both missiles obviously guided and hit. That same viewer from six months ago again commented that this was a waste of missiles because only one missile could be guided and the others would just go stupid. A debate then developed between us and the only thing that I can admit carries a certain weight to support his theory is a video by uh, a former Tomcat Rio, Ward Carroll in which he analyzes the two Gulf of Sidra incidents between US Navy Tomcats and Libyan aircraft in the 80s. Uh, he claims that if you launch a second Sparrow, the first one loses guidance and goes stupid. Now, I really can't say that this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, but this puzzles me greatly because I've come across so many historic accounts which support the theory that you can launch multiple semi-active radar homing missiles at the same target without breaking the lock of previously launched missiles. This practice, uh, as it's mentioned in various books, was first applied during the Vietnam War, when Phantom pilots uh, facing an extremely low kill probability of their main weapon, AIM-7 Sparrow, hoped to increase their chances by launching them in pairs. And this sometimes worked. Uh, one example is described in Osprey's USAF Phantom Me Killers 1972-1973. The last US Air Force Phantom kill took place on 7th of January 1973. The pilot, Captain Hellman, is reported to have launched the first AIM-7 and then remembered that you needed to launch two for the best kill probability, so he did exactly that. And the first missile exploded uh, near the MiG, However, the second one was a direct hit. Another example comes from uh, US Navy F-4 Phantom Killers, uh, 1972 to 1973. It was a rare night kill of the war, and Lieutenant Commander Tucker, flying an F-4J, launched two Sparrows at a MiG-21. They both guided, and explosions were seen, after which the contact dropped from the Phantoms and Red Crown's radar. I'll just give you one more example from the Desert Storm. Uh, Captain McGill shot down an Iraqi MiG-29 on the first day of the operation. He launched a second Sparrow because his first one looked like he wasn't guiding properly. But then he witnessed it hit the MiG's wing, after which the second Sparrow went right to the fuselage. But let's see how it's simulated in DCS world. We are now flying an F-15 armed with four Sparrows and we will launch them all against a single Sukhoi-24. Okay, locking it up. We will launch late to give the missiles more energy to maneuver. 
dot labels are turned on so you can see it more clearly. Okay, Fox 1. And another. All four launched. Well, that was clearly four hits. All four of them guided and hit the Sahoy. Let's see it again from an external point of view. Okay, F-15 is a Flaming Cliffs 3 module, they're simplified, so maybe it's not simulated well. Let's try the same thing with a High Fidelity module. Uh, we're now flying an F-18 and we will also ripple launch four sparrows at one target. Okay, target is locked. Let's let's change the mode to normal. Okay, Fox One. All four launched. I think that was four hits too. So DCS seems to support the theory that multiple launches work. I know that it's not conclusive evidence because many things are not simulated accurately in DCS. What do you think? Is this wrong? Have you come across a forum post where someone says, you know, hey Wagner, this is wrong, when are you going to fix it? What about all, all those historic accounts? I mean, are the authors just making them up? Is it possible that after more than three decades of Sparrow in service, USAF fighter pilots still didn't have the most basic understanding of their main weapon, or Israelis too? Or perhaps their testimonies were altered um, in order to you know, conceal some classified information? Let me know what you think in the comments.